Alright guys, so I figured make a quick video here while I have uh, the console um, removed so you can see all the Arduino and the Mac and all that. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Here's the Mac Mini. I took the, the case off of it just to give it a little more uh, air, a little more breathing. Um, this right here is the relay board for the Arduino that is able to turn the TVs on and off. That uh, also does the door locks and does the headlights. Uh, the headlights and the door locks are already on relays and actually the TVs are already on relays right here. Like the rear TV relay, the front TV relay. Um, but this is basically just for the Arduino in integration. So this little relay uh, strip here operates off of 5 volts which uh, works really well with the Arduino. Um, yeah, so basically this, these relays will control the relays for the truck and that's the TVs, the headlights, the door locks, all of that. Um, but yeah, I figured give you a little demonstration here. Turn the ignition on. The TV doesn't film very well, so. I'll try to do what I can here, but. So this is the Arduino board down here, which is hooked up via USB. So once that connects, this will reset. See the lights turn on here with the animation. Headlights turning on. You can see the relays light up when they fire. You can also see the data connection here. There's the webcam. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I also have these switches down here. This right here will start and stop the tour program. Click that, relaunches it, click it back, uh, closes it. Uh, we got a switch here for the, I believe the middle one here is the radio. Let's click that one. So that's for the radio. Uh, this one right here will launch the line input. So basically this just enables the line in on the Mac. And I got a thing right here. Um, got a 12 volt uh, power port. And then I have a USB connection and a... Uh, 3.5 millimeter jack connection there so you can put your auxiliary input um, and that's all controlled right here through those switches the switches on the right are for the lights the headlights uh, if you want to manually turn those on uh, the middle one there's the spotlight and the last one are, is uh, the roof lights up there so yeah figured I'd give everyone a little tour while I have it all ripped apart um, that's how I get to my AC controls right there. Little access uh, hole there. Uh, this actually, I'll take another video when it's all, when it's all together. But I have this where it folds down, and you can get to the AC controls there. I eventually want to make the little uh, control panel here. I want to make this where this uh, <clears throat> knob actually functions, so you can uh, change the fan speed without folding that down. But yeah, I figured I'd just give everyone a little tour of why I had it ripped apart. All right, so I got everything back together, and one thing I forgot to mention in my other video is, you know, I have these, you know, hardwired switches here that basically send a, uh, you know, a keystroke to the Mac to launch those programs. Um, but I also wired in the auxiliary inputs on the remote uh, to do the same thing. Basically, if I hit this three times, Auxiliary, it'll launch the tour program. Three, four, turns it off. Uh, I can do the headlights through here. Uh, two is the headlights. Um, yeah, I can also turn the TVs on and off with this. Um, but in addition to that, um, I have a keyboard here 
so I can do you know pretty much everything with the keyboard I can move the cursor I can do all that so launch the program and I actually programmed in hotkeys on this to jump to certain scenes um, so for example if we wanted to go to the webcam you just hit W it goes to the webcam there if you want to hit D for the diagnostic screen goes to that uh, T for the the T-Rex um, scene where the the screen will shut off and it'll do the booming um, uh, effect through the subwoofer so basically it turns off everything except for the subwoofer and uh, amplifier so it does the booming uh, and then after that it'll reboot and then go back into the normal uh, procedure again um, but yeah, I got everything back together. You can see in there. You can see that relay is active right now because that's actively shutting off the TVs. Um, and then to the left there is the Arduino. And I also have this little switch here which I need to mount somewhere. This is basically a kill switch. So I click that. Basically it kills power or uh, kills the negative to the relay board there. So basically this little switch will turn off the car integration so if I'm at a long show where I don't want the you know I don't want the door locks constantly turning on and off and the headlights you know, or uh, the door locks constantly locking and locking and the headlights turning on and off I can hit that little switch that basically uh, disables the um, you know Arduino integration with the car you know so this will still do, you know flash and do stuff but um the actual car won't be uh, doing anything, um, which might be handy if you know if it's there for a long time. I don't want the door locks going all you know uh, all the time. So, all right, um, well that's pretty much it. I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I ran an extra wire to the um, to the iPack. I want to put like a little hidden volume switch there, so I can control the volume without using the remote. Um, you know, either the keyboard remote or the Mac remote. I just want a physical volume switch down there somewhere so I can control the volume on everything. Uh, I also ran another wire here. And I might put some switches down here for uh, maybe the radio so I can, you know, change the uh, station on the radio without using the keyboard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's back together. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.